Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to work a wrap mock cable stitch. So this is what it looks like. Okay. It's, um, it looks like cables, but there is no cabling, I promise. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's a really gorgeous stitch. Okay. And this is a uh, scarf that I'm currently working on. So I wanted to provide a video for the stitch. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, this yarn here. It's Burly Spun, it's 100% wool, and it's from Brown Sheep Company. It is a category six, and the color is Monarch Butterfly. Um, I've been sort of obsessed with this color. So a lot of my projects recently um, are in this shade of color. Okay, so go ahead and grab any weight yarn uh, and the appropriate knitting needles. I have this ready to go. I'm going to be using a... T Let's just use... A US 13 this is nine millimeters and this does call for nine millimeters okay I'm using knitters prides ginger this is their special edition I did just release um, a review on this set so go check that out I'll leave um, a link in the corner and in the description box okay so you want to work in multiples of four plus three starting with the long tail cast on I'm going to let's see maybe 12 cast on 12 Okay, so I have my 12, which is in multiples of four, and then I'm going to add three. Okay, so we're gonna start on the wrong side. Okay, so this will be your wrong side of your work. And we're going to Purl three, knit one. Okay, so on the wrong side, you're going to want to um, slip the first stitch purlwise with the yarn in front. This will give it a nice edge. Okay, so insert your needle purlwise and slip off. Now you want to knit one. Okay, and now the repeat is purl three, knit one. So purling one, two, and three. Okay, now I'm going to knit one, purl three, one, two, three, knit one one okay and then I have five stitches left I'm going to purl three knit one and then the last one I'm just going to purl so purl three knit one and whoops purl one okay so that was your wrong side Okay, now we're starting on the right side of the work. Okay, so row two. So on this side, you slip your stitch as if to purl with the yarn in the front. On the right side of your work, you're also going to slip the first stitch. Now what that does is it gives you a nicer edge. Okay, so here's one edge 
and there's the other edge. Okay, so the first stitch we're always going to slip with the yarn in the back and slip purlwise. Okay, as if to purl, slip and then and then continue in pattern. Okay, so now the next stitch here is a purl stitch. So we're going to purl. Okay, we're going to keep all the purl stitches purled on the right side. Okay, so now we're going to slip this stitch purlwise with the yarn in back. So slip this stitch off from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. And then we're going to knit the next two. Okay, and then this slipped stitch here, we're going to pass it over the two stitches that you just knit okay and drop it okay so that's going to be the repeat purl one slip one knit two and then pass the slip stitch over the two knitted let me demonstrate it in this way so yarn in the front purl your next stitch Now we're going to put the yarn in the back. We're going to slip the next stitch, knit the next two, one, two, and then we're going to grab the stitch that we slipped and pass it over the two stitches that we just knitted. Okay, yarn in the front. Purl the next stitch, yarn in the back, slip purl wise, knit the next two stitches, one and two. Pass the slip stitch over the last two knitted stitches. Okay, so the last two stitches is going to be purl. And then the last stitch will be a knit stitch. So yarn in the back and knit. Okay. So now we're on row three. And again, we are slipping the first stitch with the yarn in the front purl wise. Okay, slip the first stitch. Now we're going to repeat knit one purl one, yarn over, and purl one, okay? Knit one, purl one, yarn over, and purl the next one, okay? Next stitch, so that's the repeat. Knit one, yarn in the front, purl, one okay so when you yarn over the traditional way you want to since this is in the front already you just want to bring it this way instead of in between the needles okay if you had the yarn back here you yarn over doing that since you had the yarn up here you're just simply going to bring it around to the right and back forward because this next stitch is a purl stitch Okay, yarn in the back, knit, yarn in the front, purl, and then we're going to work the yarn over again. So just wrap it around your needle once, bring it back to the front because we're going to purl the next stitch. Okay, purl. Yarn in the back, knit, yarn in the front, and purl the last stitch. So now we're on the right side. 
we are going to slip the first stitch purlwise with the yarn in the back bring the yarn forward to purl this next stitch the repeat is purl one knit three okay purl one knit three Okay, yarn in the front, purl one, yarn in the back, knit three. Okay, last two stitches, we're going to purl and then knit. We're just going to knit in pattern, meaning we're going to knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. So first stitch, slip your first stitch, purl wise, knit, okay, knit one, purl three, two, three, knit one, purl, three. One, two, three. Knit one, purl, three. One, two, three. Knit, last two stitches is knit one and purl one. Okay, so that's it. You're going to repeat rows one through four until you are happy with your size. Okay. And this will be your end result, this beautiful mock cable. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. See you next time.